Hello, I'm Christina Bothwell, and um, this is me talking about my contribution to Habitat Direct's um, international online exhibition. And I am going to show you the two pieces that I'm going to be contributing to the show and explain a little bit about what inspired me and um, why I made the pieces. So the first piece I made is called Safe Haven, and um, there's a woman and she's sheltering a deer underneath her dress. It's kind of like a centaur in, in reverse. And um, during hunting season this year, prior to hunting season during the summer, there was a baby deer born right outside of my studio and she just hung around all summer and all fall and she just was incredibly tame and I, I wished that I could just bring her into the house and keep her and raise her as one of my own children but of course I can't do that during hunting season so I wanted to do a piece that kind of suggests that wish of to nurture and protect and take care of um, something wild. I was originally inspired to make this piece I think years ago this image stuck in my head it's a drawing by the, um, the artist William Steig who you may know from New Yorker magazine he did a lot of cartoons for New Yorker, and it's a woman, if you can't see it, she's got a man huddled up under her skirt. And that inter that image stayed with me for a long time, and I think that's that was kind of the impetus for this particular piece. And I paint the detail on the surface of the glass using oil paints and sable brushes with teeny tiny points on them, very few hairs in them. And sometimes people wonder if I use decals. I do not use decals. and I. Um, sculpt my heads myself as you can see they're not as perfect as dolls would be and I but I do sometimes buy doll or antique doll arms online or um, take them from antique dolls that people give me just because it adds kind of a different element to the piece than it would in a different quality than it would if I made my own arms so for my other piece our daughter Violet um, turns 14 day after tomorrow I can't believe it and she's a gymnast and uh, somebody took a picture of her at a gymnastics meet where she was um, doing a flip, I think off while she was on the balance beam. And they gave me the photograph, and I did this drawing from the photograph, and I thought, what a great idea. I could do a piece where the pedestal could be her hair. Her hair could be what supports her. And um, one of the things I like to suggest in my work is the idea that even when events in our life cause us to feel as if we're out of balance, we can still maintain an inner balance. And so this is an ongoing theme in my pieces, that idea of um, just trying to process and handle whatever life throws at you. And so this is a kind of a corona piece because I've done this piece in the last month or two since the coronavirus happened. And, and um, I'm still going to do some painting on the surface of the piece. I haven't quite finished it. So it's going to look slightly different, but um, and so that's what I have. Thank you so much for listening to me, and um, I wish I could see all of you in person and give you a big hug, but I will hold on to that thought until next year's International.